Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. The Girl Who Played With Fire, Swedish original movie, Faults. Okay, it's at this point that I start to wonder exactly how much illegal stuff is Salander involved in. I In the first one, it didn't seem like that much. She was hacking, sure, but part of that was research for her job. I mean, I'm assuming they knew that that was, that was what she was doing, or did they just not care how she got the results? You know, so I guess if they did know, and it seemed to be a legitimate business, was it legal for her to hack? Because in that case, she really did not do very much illegal in the first film, other than, you know, the vigilante action. And in this one, she is, I don't know, born light with female genitalia. You know, she's got the, before she breaks into her current legal guardian's home, she's got like, you know, she sticks in, it, it turns out to be a microphone. At first I thought, is that like some high-tech unlocking device? What? It, uh, is this becoming a, you know, post-2000 Bond movie all of a sudden? The whole thing with her father and her brother, I don't know, it didn't really... It wasn't really very compelling to me. I didn't completely understand. Now, maybe it is obvious in the film. I will say that my viewing was somewhat affected by the DVD, brand new by the way, skipping here and there, or at least, you know, it, it sort of stuck, you know, and there were scenes that I was not able to watch in their entirety. However, all I got from her father as far as motivation goes is, you torched me, I hate you, I'm framing you for this. And I get the whole hating thing, and... <laughs> I would understand why he would want revenge, but doesn't he know who she is? Wouldn't he realize that she's really not the person you mess with? Did he not watch the first movie? You know, was he the one person who didn't go watch it here in Scandinavia? Anyway, and her brother, I, I don't know, I don't see the point. Maybe there will be a point in the third movie, I haven't watched it yet. Trailer looks interesting, although the whole conspiracy thing that it's hinting towards really doesn't jive with the first two films. So, I don't know, maybe Steve Larson just decided, hey, I like conspiracies now. And this series is about conspiracies now. Anyway. Yeah, I didn't really get why her brother was such a badass, or what... Or him being her brother had to do with anything at all. Again, maybe it was explained at some point, and it was when the DVD got stuck for me, but yeah. Makeup was good on, you know, Zala. That was, that was nicely done. I suppose that's more or less what there is to say. I don't know. I do think that they should have gotten more out of, you know, one thing is that she digs herself up out of a grave. That's, that's fine, you know. I ran that by my girlfriend with an incredulous tone and she assured me, well, if, you know, if it's a shallow grave, she could dig herself out of it. How she knows that, I don't know. And I don't know, maybe I should sleep with one eye open or something, but anyway. I think that they should have done more with it, you know, had some kind of... I can't... Re well, buried, you know, think buried. Just have, like, a scene of her, you know, panicky underground, that kind of thing. Especially, you know, when you watch something like that in the theater, you would really get that full effect of 
claustrophobia, you know, because you are in a, a big room and the only thing you can really see is, you know, the screen or possibly the display of your cell phone if you're a jerk. But then again, I guess these weren't originally meant for theatrical release, so maybe that's why. Yeah, I think that's really what I had to say about the movie. Like I said in the re review itself, I didn't see much point to the character of Paolo. Pa Paolo. Yeah. I've reviewed other parts of this series. The links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.